hello everyone in this video we are going to learn what is a group homomorphism so a group homomorphism means that we have a function let's say f between two different groups let's say g and h and f is defined from g to h and the function f preserves the group operation now the question is how a function preserves the group operation so let's break it down let's say g is a group under asterisk and h is a group under star so you know that these are two different groups with two different binary operations now let a b and c be three different elements of g and f maps g to h so a is mapped to f of a b to f of b and c to f of c now if a asterisk b is equal to c and f of a star f of b is equal to f of c then by substituting the value of c in here we have f of a star f of b is equal to f of a asterisk b which is exactly the definition of homomorphism which preserves the group operation which means no matter you apply the operation on a and b first and then apply the function or you apply the function first and then the operation the answer remains the same so if we have a function between two groups that fulfill this condition then we say that f is a group homomorphism now let's move towards the example to understand the concept a little better and if you like the video so far please subscribe phi is a function defined from group of integers under addition to a group j under multiplication where j is a set of only two integers 1 and minus 1 also phi takes the value 1 when n is even and negative 1 when n is odd so this is a discrete value example to show that phi is a homomorphism we need to prove that phi of a plus b is equal to phi of a times phi of b and this is true for all the elements of z now to prove that let's take m and n be two odd integers of z and divide the problem into three cases you can also take m and n to be even and change the procedure accordingly so in case number 1 we take m and n both even integers in z then the left hand side of what we wanted to prove is phi of 2m plus 2n here we multiplied 2m and n because m and n are odd and in this case we need them to be even now by taking two common from m and n we have phi of 2 times n plus m since 2 times n plus m is an even integer and phi takes the value 1 for even integers so the answer is 1 similarly phi of 2n and phi of 2m is also 1 so phi of 2n plus 2m is equal to phi of 2n times phi of 2m for case number 2 let m be an even integer and n be an odd integer then phi of 2n plus m is equal to negative 1 because 2m plus n gives an odd integer and for odd integers we know that phi takes the value negative 1 next for phi of 2n times phi of m we have 1 times negative 1 which gives us negative 1 hence phi of 2n plus m is equal to phi of 2n times phi of m now for the last case let m and n both be odd integers then phi of n plus m is equal to 1 and phi of n times phi of m is equal to negative 1 times negative 1 which is of course 1 hence phi of n plus m is equal to phi of n times phi of m as we have proved the condition of homomorphism for all the elements of group of integers hence phi is a group homomorphism now let's discuss another example which is very very difficult so please pay attention let's say we have a function phi which is defined from a group of real numbers under addition 
to the group of positive real numbers under multiplication. Also, phi of x is equal to e to the x. Now, to show that phi is homomorphism, we prove that phi of a plus b is equal to phi of a times phi of b. And this is true for all elements of the set of real numbers. Consider the left hand side, apply phi on x plus y which is equal to e power x plus y because phi of x is equal to e to the x. Next you want to simplify it by using the rule of exponent. As we know that a power m plus n is equal to a power m times a power n. So this implies that phi of x plus y is equal to e to the x times e to the y. And we call it equation number 1 because we can't simplify it more and we are going to use it later. Next consider the right hand side. We need phi of x which is e to the x and phi of y which is e to the y. Next according to the definition of homomorphism we need to find the product of phi of x and phi of y which gives us equation number 2. Now we compare the equation number 1 and equation number 2 and we get this phi of x plus y is equal to phi of x times phi of y which proves that phi is a group homomorphism. Please share this video if you find this helpful. I will see you guys all in my next one. Take care.